I'm here today with Ben Gronke and Josh McCarthy. Ben Gronke, you're with Leo's Concrete, and Josh McCarthy with Good Boy General Contracting is our general contractor on this project. It's great to have you here today. Uh, we're grouting walls. Just so we know, in our build process, we've already 3D printed all of our walls. We've put in our electrical outlets. We've put in our spray foam. We have our reinforcement in there, and we've had all this inspected. And now it's time to put in the grout that reinforces our walls. Now, Leo's Concrete has done a really excellent job for us with the foundation. You know, they showed up on time, they got it knocked out very quickly, and we've gotten a lot of compliments on just how good this foundation turned out. So we're excited to have Leo's back here to get our walls uh, vertically reinforced. So tell me a little bit about how long you've been with Leo's and maybe some of the work you've done with Concrete in the past. Sure, so I've been with Leo's for about a year and a half now. Before Leo's, I worked for Turner Construction out on Cape Canaveral Air Force Base. We did a new launch pad for Blue Origin. I um, was out there for about four years and then um, came over here to Leo's. Man, it's amazing out here in the Space Coast. You can go from building launch pads, we have spaceships taking off on and rockets, all the way over to 3D printed construction. This is the first 3D printed build you've been on, right? Absolutely, yeah. All right, well, I'm glad to have you here. So. Typically, you're working on concrete block walls, right? Yes, typically, yes. All right, so tell me a little bit about what you see when you're stepping onto those concrete block sites and how it might compare to what you're seeing so far on this site here. Sure, first thing I noticed, there's no knockouts in a 3D printed house. There's no lentil screen. You already have the foam in there. So that makes it real easy for the concrete guys to show up and just, all you have to do is start pumping. Very clean job site. It's um, contractor's uh, dream. Tell me about these knockouts. I know that we've sure. talked a little bit in some of our online courses about, uh, you know, having this clean out hole at the mm -hmm. bottom, an inspector can see a lap splice. Right. And here we've done something a little different with some epoxy hammer capsules yeah. so we can avoid that. But tell me what that's normally like for someone in your position when you're coming through and grouting these walls. What's that process like to deal with the clean outs? Right. Well, if we were doing the whole building out of block, we would have a, uh, a cutout so the inspector could inspect mm -hmm. the rebar. And then we'd have to shoot boards back on. There'd be lentil screen everywhere. And it would just, this is much easier process and much more efficient when you go to pump. Oh man, I can imagine. I mean, you're going into concrete with boards all over the home yeah. and you're gonna have those on every single reinforced cavity. Yeah. Here, I think we have something like in the neighborhood of 66 reinforced cavities throughout the home. That's a lot of boards to be nailing yeah. on. So that could save you a little time there. When you're showing up on site here, there's a few pieces of equipment that you're bringing along with you, right? Right, so we have this scaffolding on wheels here. So as we pump, we're just moving the scaffold down, filling the cells, striking it off on top, making sure it's nice and flat for the truss guys to set their trusses. And then we have a trailer pump that's pulled by a truck. Uh -huh. And um, this line pump here, and that's it. What size hose are you using? Uh, pump. Two inch. Two inch? Yes, sir. So you're using a ready mix truck that's bringing this already mixed concrete onto the site and it's feeding it into your pump. Correct. Let's talk about what it's feeding, you know, that grout. Uh, is it similar to what you're using in other block homes? Yeah, absolutely. It's just a standard masonry grout. So, so. nothing different at all. Nope. It's the exact same exactly. stuff that you're used to using. Yep. When you've gotten up there and kind of seen inside these walls, one, on this project, we're using 12 inch walls. That's a little bigger than the standard eight inch walls yeah. that we typically use and what you've typically seen. But I guess when you're looking at the structure of it, how similar is it in terms of the reinforcement you're looking at, the, the process you're going through, and uh, you know, besides the clean outs, what you're looking at when you're actually on the top of the walls pumping? How similar is this to a concrete block home? So it's almost identical. It's it, essentially the 3D print, you're 3D printing a block. Yeah. So it's very similar, you know, the cells, the whole deal, the reinforcing, everything, mm -hmm. it's it's almost identical. To work on this, you didn't have to retrain anybody no. or you basically were able to show up and treat it just like a block home, right? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, um, that's exciting to hear. Now, behind me, we're starting to pump some walls. So we're going to go ahead and stop this down here so we can get up on top of those walls and see what this looks like. Ben, thanks so much yeah, for showing up. You. It's been yeah. a pleasure. Thanks, Josh, it's great to have you here.